making this video today to show you uh, what I've done uh, with some of the things that I found at the uh, phone company, old phone company garage. My uh, company's been dismantling and uh, converting for another use. Uh, found a lot of phones and stuff. I sold most of them already, you know, to collectors. But selling them and talking to a lot of guys at Collective, I realized a lot of this stuff's interesting, so I decided to uh, build my own system. You know, just, you know, just to test phones and, you know, just probably eventually sell once I run out of phones. Uh, but this is, this is, what I have right here is, this is a, a 6020A2 uh, KSU. It's, uh, you know, one of the more mid-range uh, of the 1A2 phone systems. I mean, a lot of them, they had the uh, little shoebox model that can only support four lines. This one gets support up to eight lines. And I, I actually like the layout of this system. It's, uh, you know, pretty compact, pretty straightforward. Uh, not going to go into the technical part in this part of the video, just a the basic thing is, but when I got started, I just had a lot of questions. Like, I just wanted to make these phones work, and uh, a lot of guys out there collect phones, but they don't uh, they don't really know the technical end of it, you know, and they would just like to get a couple of their phones working and see what's going. So, uh, instead of, you know, having to get, get a whole bunch of complicated tools and, uh, you know, learn how to do all this stuff, I decided why not just make, uh, make it so that you could just plug your phones into the system and uh, they'll work. So what I did was I uh, found this uh, distribution panel that I wired up and you could just plug your uh, incoming lines here, plug in, uh, plug in your phones here, there's five different Amphenol cables and this connects to the KSU. Piece of cake, no tools required, you could set up a uh, you can set up a little uh, test uh, 1A2 system in a uh, matter of seconds. Matter of fact, we're going to do it right now. I already have the uh, power supply cord plugged into the 7985 power unit. This is all tested and cleaned up. Inside the uh, 6020A2, we have four 400D line cards, which have been modified to uh, ring with a modern. Uh, device such as this uh, X-Link uh, cellular to uh, landline converter which we'll be using to test the phone, simulate a phone line because you know I don't, not too many people actually have copper lines anymore even though this thing will work with them. Copper PBX should work with anything that uh, that works as a phone line. So it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, first thing we're going to do is, yeah, the last thing you're going to do is plug power in. Not that it matters but just as a, just as a precaution this is older technology we don't want to uh, risk damaging it but by messing with power connections while we're uh, hooking it up. So let me just hook this one up. This is the connection for the KSU. KSU is now connected. This is a 6040, 6040 uh, G, um, uh, I think it's called a wall unit. Supports five lines. This is a uh, Two uh, five six six five uh, desk phone five line model touch tone, and we can just uh, you can just take your pick. These cords are all uh, you know uh, reclaimed phone company cords. A lot of them were the, were the cords these phones originally plugged into, and I just uh, chopped them down and punched them down to this block. So let me hook up the phones real quick, and uh, we'll, we'll get the get them tested out. Hopefully someone will buy me a tripod for Christmas or maybe a GoPro. We make a lot of these videos and I feel bad for you guys with, uh, getting motion sickness watching me do this. Okay, so here we go. We got one phone connected here. One phone connected here. Uh, there's also the uh, ground cable. If you're, doing, if you're doing a permanent installation with this, you should always connect the ground. It greatly improves voice quality. You can connect it to a cold water pipe or any uh, good ground in your uh, place you're hooking it up. Plug into a surge protector. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but if this thing's humming, that means it's working. Get these cables out of the way. Yeah, I already had line one plugged in from earlier, but yeah, if you were setting this up at home, you would have to plug your phone line in. So let's sit down and take a look here. Get some of this stuff out of the way. I kind of want to get the uh, phone and the uh, phone and the KSU in the same frame so I can show you what I'm doing here. 
Right now, line one's depressed. So you pick up line one, lights up on the phone, lights up on the KSU. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but we got dial tone. Hang up, the light goes off. Pick it up. Line one. Line one. Line two. Line three. Line four. Line five. Uh, if you have an active line like we do on line one, you could actually uh, put it on hold as well. Would you, if you put it on hold uh, by just uh, pressing the button to light up the line, then hitting this red button, which is the hold button. And you'll hear the uh, flutter generator inside the power supply. That's uh, what makes the light flash. And when the light's flashing, you got the uh, line on hold. Press the button. Line's off hold. Here, dial tone. Hang up. Line goes off. Now for the uh, fun part, we're going to give my uh, little excellent call here. And we're going to try the incoming line. See, both these guys are ringing. Pick up on the uh, 6040G. Gotta select the line first. And pick up. Yep, yeah, hello, hello. Works fine, hang up. So uh, that's the basics of the system. Uh, I'm gonna uh, pause this uh, clip right now and uh, if you guys are interested in the more technical spot parts of it, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more in-depth review. So I moved a few things around uh, just to, as I want to demonstrate uh, what happens if you have an unmodified uh, 400 uh, D card in there, uh, how it won't ring. This one, uh, thanks with the help of the guys at Sundance Communications, they taught me how to do this. Uh, it's a pretty simple modification. You have to br uh, put a, a 2K ohm resistor across two points and disconnect one of these little diodes here. And, uh, it's, it'll convert it from uh, the uh, old-fashioned uh, grounded based ringing uh, to uh, bridged ringing. Uh, into the, I plugged the, uh, an unmodified card into the KSU. We're going to uh, onto line one. If you remember from the first part of the video, it would ring. But with this card in here, it's not going to ring. Just going to make a little humming noise. So let me give that a call. I don't know if you can hear it or not. There's like a little, little, very, very faint fluttering noise coming. But it's not ringing. I'm going to disconnect power to the system. I'm going to lift up on this little clip right here. This one I've already moved out of the way. I'm just going to gently rock this uh, unmodified uh, 400D Issue 10 card out. These are all uh, genuine Western Electric cards. A lot of guys tell me the uh, later series, like the 400 H's uh, stuff, and uh, so uh, Western Electric cards kind of suck compared to their uh, other com other competitors. But uh, I don't know. I, I figured this one. I, I got the, this is what I had available at the phone company. I had a lot of these 400 uh, D, most of them were issue 13, issue 8, older ones. And it's really cool. I was able to make them work. I didn't want to spend any money on this project. You know, just pretty much a learning experience. So we got that plugged back in. We're gonna go put the power back into the uh, KSU. And just uh, test it out real quick, make sure I didn't fry anything. Give it a ring. Yeah, you have to hang it up, it keeps ringing for a few seconds. Wait for that to stop, okay. So yeah, um, all these cards, all these cards have been modified to uh, ring properly, they've all been tested. I only have, um, a little, I would test out, show you guys in all five lines, but I only have one keystone jack and they're, uh, Years ago, I used to have piles and piles, but I threw most of them out because, you know, it's uh, obviously tech. And now, uh, I don't want to go out and buy them after throwing them out, so I'm just going to keep scaving around work till I find a few more to put in there. You know, uh, 
pretty sad. Just like uh, even, even when I needed a, one of these little phone cords, uh, I had to go running around all over the place to, in my house to find them. I used to have so many of them. It's just uh, weird how technology changes. How you have things that are once everywhere, you, you get hard to find. But uh, you know, one more uh, technical thing I'm going to go into. We're not going to get too uh, complicated. Uh, the, the breakout box is pretty is pretty is pretty straightforward. I'm going to I'm going to put an insert of the um, a actual diagram into the uh, video of uh, how a five line is wired. Uh, these cables down here each have 50 uh, cables in known as 25 pair. A lot of different colors and stuff. If you're not familiar with it, it's going to be kind of confusing to you. But the uh, main cable from the uh, KSU is on the left hand side and all 50 wires are punched down. I did this because, you know, for expansion, different options you could have. Uh, we'll, we'll show, I'll, I'll show you how this uh, block is actually, you know, it, you know, it, it, it looks like a, uh, Chinese to most people, but once you break it down and look at the diagram, it's not that complicated. It's broken to pieces. And oh, by the way, don't uh, do not do what I'm doing there. Uh, this, does ha this does have 110 volts running across these bridging clips here for the ringer, and if you touch it the wrong way, it will zap you a little bit. So, uh, matter of fact, while we're looking at this, just to be safe, unplug it. Whenever you're working on it, you're not any of these covers are off. Just uh, just unplug it for your uh, own safety and the safety of the equipment. Looking at the wires, gonna go. It's all, the left side's all punched down. Start at the bottom here. Still gotta clean this up. I got a couple of uh, wires left over from when I punched down the uh, new blue wire for this uh, box over here. I used the uh, violet uh, the violet set because it wasn't it wasn't used to carry over the uh, CO lines uh, over this cable so there wouldn't, there wouldn't be a need for two cables. So that's not the traditional use of this pair, but since we weren't using it, I used it to uh, carry the uh, CO lines from this box, goes over to this side from here, goes to here, and then it goes back to the, uh, proper, to the proper locations on this box with the five CO lines, which are these uh, two top, well, we'll go over that in later later part of the video. The uh, in a five line phone, you only need to get up to the uh, end of the uh, black set, and you'll have to also punch down the uh, yellow, gray, and gray yellow pairs. So that's where the uh, ringer goes through. And the rest of them, nope, just do what you want to do with them. I used them for uh, phone lines. Another uh, image that I'll uh, definitely put up is uh, the general layout of this. Uh, set up here. This block, it, it looks like it's, it's two blocks, but each block is broken into four sections, each corresponding to one of these cards. Let's zoom in on this section here. On the top left, two, that's where your, phone, that's where your uh, CO line comes in. And then uh, right below it, you have your, uh, these go to the phone. This is the tip and the ring for the phone. This is the uh, on hook off hook this is the on hook signal and uh, on hook ground this is the uh, lamp ground the lamp it turns the lamp on and this is the ring ground and the uh, ring uh, signal if I'm saying this wrong you know any of Bellcore guys you know please forgive me I'm not uh, not a phone company guy I'm just pretty new at this stuff and uh, what happens is when the, when it, if you want want all um, you want the rings to carry over between the different cards to make sure it rings in every line. You have to connect the uh, all the uh, rings together. So if you see here, I got like little jumpers that go across, connecting line to line. So this one, uh, this little block right here, would be the section for the first card. This little block up. Here. Let's see where is it? Yeah, this little block up here. You see the orange violet pair. That's uh, that's your line. That's your card number two. This one, card number three in this section, and card number four. Normally you would start. Normally you would go off to the left for the for these two, but just to make things nice and neat, I might put everything towards the center. Yeah, I'm just about uh, at my eight minute limit on video here, so uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know and. Uh, Lots of thanks again to the guys at Sundance Communications Forums for uh, teaching me uh, how to fix this. 